Hi everybody, welcome to Science Central. My name is Aisha, and today we are going to show you how to make a pinwheel anemometer. So an anemometer is a tool that scientists use in order to help predict the weather by measuring wind speed. So what we need to do first is grab your pinwheel cutout, the one I have right here, and if you can see there are four lines on our pinwheel, alright? And you're going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut along the lines as so. Make sure that you follow the lines and don't go any further than it needs to be. So as you are cutting this, notice how if you went all the way to the middle, it would create a triangle. Alright, so what we're going to do next is we're going to take a red pen marker up or crayon and we're gonna flip over our pinwheel and where you can imagine that triangle go ahead and color in one of those triangles all right the thing is the color really isn't that important you can use any color you want it just needs to be a color that's gonna help you focus on your pinwheel as it starts to move later on ahead and colored in my triangle okay so I'm, we're gonna go ahead and set this to the side for now and we're gonna grab our pipe cleaner and dowel rod all right with your pipe cleaner I'm gonna have you go ahead and twist it around your dowel rod about five times now remember as you are uh, twisting it make sure that it's not too tightly because what you're gonna do next is gonna you're gonna slide it off the dowel rod like so. And then you're gonna take the twisted parts and kind of push them flat and put them together like so. So you're gonna create kind of like a little, like a little button there. All right. Now that we have that done, I'm gonna have you go ahead and grab your pinwheel and as you can see, there are some pretty punched holes on each corner of our pinwheel. I'm going to have you go ahead and take the corner and fold it inward towards the middle of your pinwheel. And make sure that you line up all of these holes with each other. That's very important. Because what you're going to do next is you are going to take your paper, or your pipe cleaner, and we're going to thread it through all of these holes. Alright, let's go ahead and kind of bend, fold them in. Now make sure that you don't um, pull them too tightly because you're going to need those areas to kind of catch the air later. Alright, there you go. And then we're going to take our pipe cleaner and just kind of thread it through all of the holes. And then just pull it up until that button right there kind of stops and it's snug on it right there. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and grab a bead and put it on the other end of your pipe cleaner to act like a stopper. Okay. So this is how your pinwheel is going to look so far. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and attach your pinwheel to your dowel rod by wrapping it around like so. And as, make sure that it's kind of tight so then it doesn't move too much. But you don't want it too tight as well. All right. So there we go. We have your pinwheel anemometer. And you can go ahead and test it out by blowing on it and making sure that it spins very easy. It spins easily. And maybe you can even open up some of these pockets a little bit more so then it catches the air. And eventually, it will spin. No. So, like I said, you're going to need to adjust it a, a bit to make sure that it can spin very well. Alright. So 
once you have your pinwheel done, we can go ahead and test it outside as well and see how fast the wind is blowing. Now, to make sure to kind of measure the wind, you can count how many times your pinwheel rotates within a minute. So, say your pinwheel rotates maybe five times a minute. That could tell you that the wind speed is very slow compared to say if it spins 20 times a minute. And that's one of the ways that you can measure wind speed and predict, predict the weather. All right, so now that we have our pinwheel done, go ahead and test it out outside. And while you're doing it, go make sure that you take a picture or a video and tag us on Facebook or our Instagram, which is hashtag SciSenFW. Thanks so much.